What is up, my squirrel lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more No Man's Sky. In the last episode, we continued our quest with the help of Noel and getting all of this translation stuff done. We've talked to a Viking cartographer, we've talked to a Corvax cartographer, and now we are currently in the middle of helping a Gek cartographer who wants us to complete a few uh, bounties for them. So we're going to be doing that today. We're going to steal some industrial secrets. I know I have a message in my hailing channel. We'll take a look at that in a minute, but we're going to do this first. We got two of these to do, so we have a little bit of time to do things while we fly around in space between the different things. So we're going to be stealing some industrial secrets today. And I'm going to pull up. Okay, 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 okay. Easy now, easy now, easy now. I think we are going to probably want to land right about here if I am to guess correctly. I could be wrong, but it's certainly what it seems like to me. So let's do that. I'm also going to use this emergency signal scanner at some point because it's just absolutely driving me nuts that it keeps popping up. Let's take a look. Do I need to go into target sweep? Yep, it is this thing. Okay, so what in the heck is that creature back there? Look at the... I have never seen anything that looks like that. That's weird. Um, can I scan you? I think I can. No, I can't. I have apparently already discovered that one. Really? I don't recognize that one at all. Interesting. Um, okay, so we we're going to be going on in here and stealing some secrets. I got myself a pet now, which is great. My little drone buddy. He's so cool. I absolutely love him. And he, and he talks to me sometimes. He, he's, he's a cutie. He, he, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. So we're probably going to get into some fights here. What are you? Uh, what are you? No, really. Hello? You're just like a doggy. Is everything okay? I mean, I don't want to fight with you, but... Sentinel doggy. But I guess I'm just going to head on in here. Probably going to get myself in trouble by doing this. But let's do it. Pool Rotso uh, Factory. Data core online. Approach the terminal information. The client reads is unencrypted and readily available. Let's download that data. Required data, I should return to the mission agent and make the delivery. Okay, am I fine? Is anyone mad at me? I thought I was going to say we're going to get into a fight of some kind, but maybe not. I don't know. We'll certainly see. I'm going to extract some nanites while I'm here, and there's a couple of probably of other things that I can get around here. Maybe? Possibly? Nope, these doors are all locked, so never mind. Uh, is everything okay? No one's mad at me? You don't seem mad at me. Are, are you the sentry? Are you just... I, I honestly don't know what you are. Yeah, because you have nothing to do with my... Uh, I can't talk to you at all. I don't know. You're cute. I like you. I wish you were also my pet, but I don't know if that's going to be a really an easy thing to do. Maybe. I don't know. I want a robo-doggy. All right. So we got that one done. Let's head back out into space really fast. And once we do that, I am going to open up the hailing channel, which I do believe is from Apollo. So we do want to talk, to talk to them. It's also been a little while since uh, the last episode. I mean, a little while. It's been a few hours since the last episode. So at the very least, I can go back to the settlement and continue progress on that. But we got to do one thing at a time here. So let's start by talking to Apollo. Sorry for contacting you so late or early. I don't know what time the time of day on your world, and that's the problem, isn't it? Apollo breaks off mid-sentence, their heart turning crimson. Are you all right? It found me, just like it found you. I can't feel my legs. It's strange. I'm still in here. Don't you understand? It won't let me leave. It's it's seen me. Okay, okay. Take a deep breath. I don't breathe. Why would you say that I breathe? The atlas, it can render. It can rend. Sometimes I think about my past, my future. Sometimes I do. What everyone in the universe does, I know. But I can't help but want to be happy. Money, doing what you're told. Day after day, that's the answer, isn't it? I mean, I don't know, man. Apollo stares at me as if seeing my face for the first time. Eventually they speak, their words passionate. Higher. Uv hol nus ezanos kunu. Uv zov uv hol kuhilu zwav. At this point, Apollo says nothing else but something I don't know what. Something fills me with hope, both for my friend and for all life. Are we going to lose Apollo too? Oh, man. Okay, well, that one's done. Um... Crap. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go in here into my log. Uh, oh, I have to go to a different place to finish this? Oh, no. Where do I have to go exactly? Um, let's take a look. Let's see. No? Wait, I'm, I'm confused here. I'm confused. Hold on a second. I'm going to leave. I thought I just have to go back to the mission agent for this. Why is it telling me... Let me see. From there to... Wait, hold on. Is that not the thing I was thinking of? 
I'm a little confused right now. Just a second. Okay, I think the quest UI is just being stupid again and telling me conflicting information because I'm pretty sure I've already done it and I do just need to go back to the mission board, but it's probably conflicting with this one, which is the exact same quest, but in a different system. I'm gonna just do grand battle now and head off towards the bounty mission target and we'll do this really quickly. I think once this is done, I will head back to the mission board and see what the Gek has to say because yeah, I don't know what's going on, but it seems a little bit uh, strange. All right, are we there? There we go. All right, where are you at? What's up, hostile ships? All right, let's do this thing. Okay, take these guys out. I really need my photon upgrade, and I need it bad. Okay, there goes the first one. Cool, cool, cool. All right, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Ah! Cut it out, you. Hold on. Uh, there's, a, there's a few of them. I mean, well, no, no, I have my helpers here. I have my helpers here. Durr. I always forget that. I get their help now that they're part of my crew which is nice I mean it's good and all don't get me wrong but I wish I just straight up did more damage if I could be completely honest with you oh come on come on come on yeah keep a shield down don't let it go back up boom there we go okay is there another one left or is that it I think I did it standing uh, increased oh we got more hostile ships okay hold on hold on hold on let's take these guys out there we go there we go there we go Okay, a little out of range. Come here. Oh, God, a shield. Okay. Come on, keep hitting them. Keep hitting them. Oh, my gosh, there's so freaking many of them. What the heck? Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. That's not good at all. Hold on. Hold on. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. Oh, this is a problem. Oh, is that my... No, 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 no. Did I just... I think I just shot my wingman there. Crap. Uh, I'm going to quickly charge you up a little bit. There we go. All right, we're fine. We're fine. We'll be okay. I just got to... I'm going to get a lock on... No, no, not that guy. I want it on this guy. Uh, it's making me lock onto this one. Uh, I really wish I had that upgrade. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes, there we go. Okay, we got him. We got him. I'm going to try to boost out of the way here. There we go. Come on, come on. Oh, you suck. You suck. Come on, I can get this guy. There he is. Take that shield down. Oh, there's so many of them. There's another one down. All right, if I can move out of the way. There, are, I, I mean, what is it? Just the one left? I think there's just the one. I think he's the last one left. I think I can hang on and just take him out with my the help of my friend here. Come on. I think we got him. Okay, are we good? Are we good? I think we're good. Uh, nope, there are still more hostiles. Oh, gosh, there's so freaking many. They keep coming in. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. Okay, no, we're not we're not set here yet. We got to keep going. All right, well, well, we'll we'll get it together. Ah, let me lock on to the other one. Thank you. Okay, got him. Nope. And they're maneuvering around so fast. I really need a better better weapon here. Really do. I probably should just try to craft it or something because it's getting to the point where it's like this is just not cutting it, and I cannot get upgrades for this thing to save my life. I have tried like every single system I have checked and none of them have photon cannon upgrades. It's very frustrating. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Oh geez, there's so many. How many are there? Holy crap. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're fine. Uh, you, I am, I'm actually gonna get destroyed here if I'm not careful. Gosh, this this really is a grand battle, all right. I was not expecting this. Oh, son of a gun! Why does it never? I hate that when you're trying to shift targets. Why does it not automatically shift to the one that you're looking at? It only is just like no. There's a set cycle of uh, ships that you can uh, shift through, and you are only allowed to go to the next one on the list. You can't actually. I, I, I can't even lock onto anything. Oh, this is driving me nuts. Come on. There we go. Got it. Finally. Oh, this is frustrating. There we go. Okay, next one. There you are. There you are. There you are. Turn around. Turn around quick. It's a little wobbly when you do the auto-targeting, but I guess it works. Almost got you. 
Okay, keep going, keep going. Let that cool down for a second. Goodbye. Okay, are we good? Are there more? Oh, I'm sure there are. How many do we have to do here? Are we done? I think we're done. Let's see. I know I've, uh, locate... Nope, still have to destroy the bounty target, wherever that is. Where is the bounty target exactly? I guess that's the question here. I don't know. Is it the purple? I know I got a milestone completed. I'm gonna scan that planet really quickly. I'm pretty sure I already scanned that one before, though, so that's a little bit strange. Where is it? I honestly don't know. You're still with me, so there's clearly something here. Let's see... Is it possibly on top of this thing? I actually don't know. Hold on a minute. I can continue to cycle around this thing. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything. Oh no, it says oh now it says return to the mission agent. Okay, well I it, I don't know how long ago that changed, but apparently I wasn't paying attention. Alright, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's see if I can turn both of these in. I don't a hundred percent know if it's gonna let me, and if it doesn't, then uh well we have a problem. But back to the space station. This game is a little bit just wonky at times, and it's very frustrating. Especially when... I mean, I have a grasp on the systems. It's not even that anymore. It's more... At this point, it's more like... I'm just not used to its quirks still, because it just of the way the game behaves. And its controls, I'm still not a big fan of, and its UI... I just... I hate the UI. I really do hate the UI in this game. It's very frustrating to deal with. Quite the glare on my screen there, goodness. All right, get out. So let's see. Also, apparently everyone is like, thinks I'm an absolute nut job for playing this game predominantly in third person. I don't know, well, I don't know. That's how the game was set to default. So that's, I've just done it. So whatever. No, this one is still in progress. Okay, so it's, all, it's lying to me. But it also doesn't tell me where to go for that. Um... So this is probably the one I have to do to incre increase that Gek standing. So that was because that was just Mercenaries Guild. So oh, complete. I I said I didn't complete any contracts. What? So this is I needed to complete too, but that doesn't count. Are you kidding me? I have to track down this planetary harvester. Why is this so confusing? And I'm also gonna just make this signal show up so I can get rid of it too. So I'm gonna have to do. Lurking explosions, and then I'm going to have to go do another one for this to work. Are, are, for real? Oh, that's frustrating. All right, you know what? I'm just going to track this thing down by myself, and I will cut until I have found it, because I'm getting sick of this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I finally got it to work, and it's not in the freaking way that you're going to think I, that I got it to work. So... Remember how I had that other I had that other quest that did like the exact I mean you probably remember because I was just talking about before I cut but it's been like 25 minutes on my end trying to get this to work. I've reloaded the game like 3 times. I've ju galaxy jumped a bunch. I tried to look up the mission through the teleporter menu. And finally, apparently I just had to delete the other mission that had like the same objective but in a different uh, place. And now that I as soon as I deleted it, it suddenly was like, "Oh, you finished it now. You're good." What? <laughs> what? I I don't get it. I'm really confused, but... Oh, this game's UI is a mess. All right, hand in the mission. There we go. It's done. Now we got a level four Gek mission. Let's do it. And then hopefully we're good with that. I don't think this one should have any conflicts, I would hope. Let me just make sure that this is actually working as the game decides to almost crash on me when I pressed R1 there. Uh, yeah, so I do... Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, so, but doesn't it say I have to do one of two? Okay, yeah, so that one counted at least. That one did count. Good. Okay, thought-provoking portraits. Take a photo of a building. The client may require a specific building. Cartographer and space stations will supply planetary charts for specific buildings. Um, I probably... I probably should actually look at what building that actually is. Uh, come on, let me talk to you. Let's see it. Um, is it going to tell me about it? 
of an abandoned building. Yeah, no, nope, no. Nope. It doesn't really say anything about it. Okay, I get some polymatic, uh, polychromatic zirconium for doing it. Maybe I should get one of these maps. I mean, I could probably just go back, but uh, let's see. Exchange specific charts. Okay, let's see here. What do we got? We've only got the one menu. Uh, da, 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 inhabited outpost, artifact site. I actually don't know which is the one that you want. I'm a little confused by this freaking quest. This, oh, this game is so bad at like making itself clear on what you want. It wants you to actually do. Just aban I, I don't remember which maps actually give you abandoned buildings. And it's not going to tell me, is it, if I try to... Gosh dang it, I always go to the wrong menu. That's my fault, I will admit that. Alright, hold on a moment. Okay, for some reason... <laughs> I hate this. I'm, this game is, like, giving me all of the reasons to hate it today. I don't know why this... This one uh, episode in particular has just been, like... Problem after problem after problem. So it would not give me the coordinates for what I'm supposed to photograph until after I purchased the chart. Except I'm not using the chart at all. It just triggered that... The, the UI just triggered by me buying the chart for some reason. I probably could have brought any chart and it would have just been like, Oh, now I'm going to work. Whew. Whew, no Man's Sky, you are testing my patience. These are the kinds of things that really prevent me from loving this game, is the fact that it's kind of a broken piece of shit that doesn't function super correctly all the time. And for as old as the game is, that's still kind of unacceptable, <laughs> if I'm going to be completely honest. That's not to say a lot of live service games don't have a lot of issues, but this, this one in particular has got some major like functionality problems that I'm not a huge fan of if, I, if I'm if i being honest. This planet has buildings on it? Like, at all? I'm gonna assume it's that thing. I'm gonna almost, I'm almost positive it's this thing. Yeah, it is definitely this thing. But, I mean, obviously I wanna do a target, but I didn't think this planet could have anything on it. And then, no, it's not it actually, but what is this thing? Hold on. I gotta take a look at it. That frickin' menu is willing to go away. What the heck is this? Can I... Some sort of anomaly. I can't scan it. It is a building, but it's not the building I'm supposed to be going after. And I mean, it has a marker next to it. I might as well actually set this so that I can chart this area. But that is just weird. The Tovu Encampment. Okay, and there's is there anything I can do to, like, n interact with this at all? I can. Iteration, something, a terminal blink, submitting input. Let's download some data. Scenario, subroutine, Sentinel. Dispatch to intervene in life form designates something war. Removal from history, continuation of creator protocol. Sentinels eradicate species, do not return. Diagnostic, something, 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 something. Okay, I got some nanites out of that. That's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, all right, I'll go back to my ship then, and I'm going to try to go the correct way this time. So ignore me, little uh, sentry boy. We are going to get back up. We are going to turn around, and we want to go in this relative direction, but not too far. It's around here somewhere. I know it was only like 500 units away or something like that. I'm going to probably land right about here. If that's okay. And then we will sweep a little more. Okay, it is definitely a lot closer. But I am still off by a bit, which is fine. I can always go back to my ship. Now that I can actually cover... Cover all this ground. Why did I even try to do that when my jetpack was completely depleted? There, uh, there it is! Yeah, I, I'm really just shocked to see any sort of buildings on this planet at all. Alright, let's activate that photo mode. And uh, let's get a nice little picture of it. Uh, right. Oh, yeah, it's... No, 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 I didn't mean to press that. What is actually the take photo button again? Is it... I actually don't remember. I don't think I'm supposed to hit the share button. Okay, so again, in another line of amazing decisions, 
I have to... Does that count? There it is. Okay, so I do have to take the picture with the share menu on PlayStation 5. Again, stupid idea. But on top of that, I can't just take it in the normal way that you do on PlayStation 5 where you just tap the share button and select what you're doing. You have to do the quick screenshot only by holding down the share button. Otherwise, it won't register. You know, Hello Games, you guys have ideas and... It already started with like the whole, I'm gonna map the sprint button to the look stick as opposed to the movement stick. And I was already kind of like, okay, this, this is getting a little bit questionable, but man, oh man, man, oh man, you guys have some like just game design ideas that I do not gel with. I really do not gel with at all. <laughs> and there are, uh, again, another reason why I this game is not a love. It is a like, but it is not a love. Holy cow. All right, back to the mission agent. And at this point, I'm just pushing on for the sake of doing it. I want to see most of these main quests to the end, uh, particularly the the main one involving Artemis and Apollo. I mean, that's really the only one that I'm, like, genuinely invested in. So, I mean, I would like to see it through, but I got to say, I mean, I'm, I'm going to air my grievances here. It's my series, and this is how I, I am with every video game that I play, is I got, I got to complain about it a little bit if you have a problem with that. Don't watch. <laughs> that's that's it. That's all. That's what I do here. I am. I'm going to be honest and forthright, and this is a good place for me to air out my criticism, especially as I happen upon said criticisms. Because I like to be able to quantify those things. Of course, I will obviously come back to those same criticisms later and go, was that fair? Was that actually correct? It's always a good thing to do. You never want to be. 100% reactionary, because that's uh, yeah, that's also very unhealthy. All right, let's uh, turn this dang thing in, and then we can probably call it. Are we good? Are we done here? Is that enough? Complete contracts for the GEC. All right, now let's talk to the stupid cartographer. All right, are you all right? No, no, never mind. That doesn't... Is it not him? No, okay, now I can return to him. I had to wait for the thing to appear. Sorry. Ah, you have been making me rich, friend. I know you, your kind. The fearless adventurer, the completer of contracts. You think you are a leader. Others fight wars with weapons and fear, but power is more than strength. It is trade, incentives, information. If you have enough units, others will change the world for you without even realizing. This episode has gone on way too long, even after I have to, I make all the cuts. I'm at like 50 minutes on my recording for this, just because of all the issues that I've run into in this particular one. I apologize. We're just going to finish this out, and we're going to call it. Ask about Gek history. History, why would you care about that? Something is wrong with the Gek's voice. Ask about the Corvax. Ask about the Corvax, a robotic species that was once enslaved by the first spawn of the ancient Gek Empire. Ah, friend, you've been talking to Viking warriors, yes? Ever they hate Gek, ever they slander us, refusing to forgive the past. Do not worry, all is well, all is at peace. Well, I'm going to ask if you feel guilt. Why do you persist, friend? The Gek are different now. Gek seek no harm, no malice. The Gek changed. How? Must you know? Why do you care, friend? Gek seems to serve my questions, asking why I care. It is clear they do not wish to discuss. Well, I'm going to say the Corvax care. Don't, don't you understand? Don't you see it? It never ended. Gek's face begins to twitch as they speak, a sickly sweet pheromone emerging in the air. Try to resist. Tried all my breath, but it is too late. Gek did not change. They invaded our souls. I blink and I am on Balaron itself, homeworld of the Gek. I stand within the center of the First Spawn Empire, witnessing events that occurred long ago. I wish we could get actual cutscenes for this stuff, but obviously that's a little that's asking a little much. Cartographer Ukaria uh, Arira, wow, stands next to me watching what I watch, tears streaming down their face. I see enslaved Corvax move from Gek spawning pool to spawning pool. At each one, they cut into their own suits. Nanite clusters pull out, falling into the fluid of embryonic Gek. It is then that I finally understand the fall of the Gek, their conversion to the Atlas, their release of the Corvax. It was not redemption, it was revolution. Hundreds of Korvax sacrificing their immortality, mingling their nanite clusters with the unborn Gek. Gek did not become good, they became Korvax, at least in part. Their slaves altered Gek brains, shifting their nature. For the first and final time, the Korvax convergence delighted in the pain of the oppressor. <sighs> Say the Gek deserved this. Gek stares at me, the vision coming to an end. They appear haunted. Do not judge us, Traveler, that our ancestors were altered, what they, uh, that they did not find goodness by themselves. That has nothing to do with us. We just want peaceful lives. We just want to be happy. And as I leave, I think about what I've learned. The Gex relief, Gek released the Corvax because their biology was altered. There was no spiritual revelation, no grand redemption. It was a switch in the brain, an alteration to the genetic code. I think of the simulation Nada showed me. Their intended heaven for Artemis' soul. It was a false reality full of arbitrary and unseen rules. How is life any different? 
So yeah, they're not really the old Gek. They're a completely different brand of Gek, which I guess makes sense that no, they shouldn't be judged, but their ancestors, I think, definitely should be. Now we need to stalk, uh, speak to Null about the secrets of the past, and we are going to be doing that one in the next episode because I am done with this episode. I have never been more done with a No Man's Sky episode than I am done with this one. So guys, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode very, very much, and I will see you all in the next one.